Good morning everyone. Today I would like to introduce you to a robot that will help us understand the fascinating world of quantum mechanics. Meet Qubit, our quantum robot. Qubit is a special kind of robot that operates on the principles of quantum mechanics, the branch of physics that describes the behavior of matter and energy at the atomic and subatomic scale. As we all know, classical physics has been very successful in describing the behavior of objects in the macroscopic world. However, when we go down to the atomic and subatomic scale, things get very strange and counterintuitive. Quantum mechanics tells us that particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously, they can be entangled with other particles over vast distances, and they can even tunnel through barriers that they shouldn't be able to cross. To help us understand these phenomena, we have Qubit. Qubit has a few features that make it particularly well suited for quantum mechanics education. First, Qubit is small enough to operate on the subatomic scale, allowing us to observe and manipulate individual particles. Second, Qubit is equipped with quantum sensors that allow it to detect and measure quantum states. And finally, Qubit is programmed with advanced algorithms that can simulate quantum systems and demonstrate quantum phenomena in real time. Let me give you an example of what Qubit can do. Imagine we have two particles, let's call them A and B, that are entangled with each other. This means that their states are linked in such a way that if we measure particle A and find it in a particular state, we know that particle B must be in a complementary state. Now, let's say we separate these two particles by a large distance. According to classical physics, any changes we make to particle A should have no effect on particle B, since they are too far apart for any information to travel between them. However, in the world of quantum mechanics, things are different. If we measure particle A and find it in a particular state, this instantaneously affects the state of particle B, no matter how far apart they are. This is what Einstein called spooky action at a distance. Qubit can demonstrate this phenomenon by creating an entangled pair of particles and then manipulating one of them while observing the other. We can see that changes to one particle are reflected in the other, even if they are separated by a significant distance. In summary, Qubit is an incredibly powerful tool for understanding the strange and fascinating world of quantum mechanics. It allows us to observe and manipulate individual particles, detect and measure quantum states, and simulate quantum systems in real time. With Qubit's help, we can unlock the mysteries of the quantum world and explore the frontiers of modern physics. Quantum mechanics is a fundamental theory in physics that describes the behavior of matter and energy at the smallest scales. It provides a mathematical framework to understand the behavior of particles and systems that are too small to be observed directly. At its core, quantum mechanics is based on the idea that particles, such as electrons and photons, exist in a state of superposition, meaning that they can exist in multiple states or locations simultaneously. This is in contrast to classical mechanics, which assumes that particles have a definite position and velocity at any given time. One of the key principles of quantum mechanics is the wave-particle duality, which states that particles can exhibit both wave-like and particle-like behavior depending on how they are observed. This duality is captured by the mathematical framework of quantum mechanics, which uses wavy functions to describe the probability of finding a particle in a particular state. The behavior of particles in quantum mechanics is governed by the Schrodinger equation, which describes how the wave function evolves over time. The wave function contains all the information about a particle's state, including its position, momentum, and energy. In addition to the wave-particle duality, another important principle of quantum mechanics is the uncertainty principle, which states that certain pairs of physical properties, such as position and momentum, cannot be measured with arbitrary precision. This is because the act of measuring one property necessarily disturbs the other, leading to a degree of uncertainty in both properties. Quantum mechanics also predicts the existence of phenomena such as entanglement, where the state of one particle is intimately connected to the state of another particle, even when they are separated by large distances. This phenomenon has been observed experimentally and has important implications for the field of quantum computing. In summary, quantum mechanics is a fundamental theory that describes the behavior of particles and systems at the smallest scales. It is based on the principles of wave-particle duality, uncertainty, and superposition, and is governed by the Schrodinger equation. Quantum mechanics has numerous applications in fields such as material science, electronics, and cryptography, and continues to be an active area of research in physicists. History of quantum mechanics Quantum mechanics is a branch of physics that deals with the behavior of matter and energy at the atomic and subatomic level. It was developed in the early 20th century as a result of a series of experiments and theoretical investigations into the behavior of particles at these small scales. 
The history of quantum mechanics can be traced back to the late 19th century, when physicists began to realize that the classical physics of Isaac Newton and others was inadequate to explain certain phenomena, such as the behavior of blackbody radiation and the photoelectric effect. In 1900, Max Planck proposed that the energy of light was not continuous, but rather came in discrete packets, or quanta, which could only take on certain specific values. In 1905, Albert Einstein applied Planck's theory to the photoelectric effect, showing that light could also act as a particle, or photon, rather than just a wave. This idea was further developed by Niels Bohr, who proposed a model of the atom that incorporated quantum principles. In 1924, Louis de Broglie proposed that matter, like light, also that had wave-like properties, leading to the development of wave mechanics by Erwin Schrödinger and Werner Heisenberg. Other key contributors to the development of quantum mechanics include Wolfgang Pauli, who proposed the exclusion principle that governs the behavior of electrons in atoms, and Max Born, who developed the mathematical framework for the probability interpretation of quantum mechanics. The development of quantum mechanics revolutionized our understanding of the behavior of matter and energy, and has led to numerous technological advancements, including the development of the transistor and the laser. The Schrödinger equation is a fundamental equation of quantum mechanics that describes the behavior of particles at the atomic and subatomic scale. The equation was developed by Austrian physicist Erwin Schrödinger in 1925 and is an essential tool for understanding the behavior of electrons and other particles in quantum mechanics. The Schrödinger equation is a partial differential equation that describes the time evolution of a quantum mechanical system. It is written in terms of a wave function, denoted by the symbol, which describes the state of the system at any given time. The equation is typically written in the following form. I slash T equals H where I is the imaginary unit, that is, the square root of minus 1, is the reduced Planck constant, H slash 2, T is time, is the wave function of the system, and H is the Hamiltonian operator, which describes the total energy of the system. The Schrödinger equation is a time-dependent equation, meaning that it describes how the wave function of a quantum system changes over time. The equation is based on the principle of wave-particle duality, which states that particles can exhibit both wave-like and particle-like behavior. The wave function is a mathematical representation of the probability amplitude of the system, meaning that it describes the probability of finding a particle in a particular location or state. The square root of the wave function, too, represents the probability density of the system, meaning that it describes the probability of finding a particle in a particular location. The Hamiltonian operator H represents the total energy of the system, including both its kinetic energy and potential energy. It is expressed as a sum of terms, each of which corresponds to a different type of energy. For example, the kinetic energy term is proportional to the Laplacian operator, which describes how the wave function changes with respect to position. The Schrödinger equation can be used to solve for the wave function of a quantum system for a given set of initial conditions. By solving the equation, physicists can predict the behavior of the system over time and determine the probability of finding a particle in a particular location or state. In summary, the Schrödinger equation is a fundamental equation of quantum mechanics that describes the time evolution of a quantum mechanical system. It is written in terms of a wave function, which describes the probability amplitude of the system, and a Hamiltonian operator, which represents the total energy of the system. By solving the equation, physicists can predict the behavior of particles at the atomic and subatomic scale. The Dirac equation is a fundamental equation in quantum mechanics that describes the behavior of particles with half-integer spin, known as fermions. It was first proposed by the British physicist Paul Dirac in 1928, and it played a key role in the development of quantum field theory, which is a framework for describing the behavior of subatomic particles. Before the Dirac equation was proposed, physicists had developed a theory of quantum mechanics that described the behavior of particles such as electrons and photons. However, this theory did not take into account the principles of special relativity, which described the behavior of particles moving at high speeds. Dirac recognized that a new theory was needed that incorporated both quantum mechanics and special relativity, and he set out to develop such a theory. The Dirac equation is a modification of the Schrödinger equation, which is the fundamental equation of quantum mechanics. It takes the form, I, M, equals zero whereas the wave function of the particle, or the Dirac gamma matrices, is the four-dimensional partial derivative with respect to the spacetime coordinates, x0, x1, x2, x3, and M is the rest mass of the particle. The Dirac gamma matrices are a set of four 4x4 four four matrices that satisfy the anti-commutation relation. Equals to I whereas the Minkowski metric tensor and I is the identity matrix. The gamma matrices are not unique, but a commonly used representation is the Dirac representation, in which the matrices take the form 
0 equals 0 i, 1 equals 1, 2, 2 equals 2, 1, 3 equals 3 i was 0, 1, 2, and 3 the poly matrices, and denotes the tensor product. The solutions to the Dirac equation have some interesting properties. First, they describe particles that have both positive and negative energy solutions. This was a surprising result when the equation was first developed, as it suggested the existence of antiparticles, which were later discovered experimentally. Second, the Dirac equation predicts the existence of spinors, which are two component wave functions that describe the spin of the particle. Dirac's work on the equation was not immediately accepted by the physics community. Many physicists at the time were skeptical of the idea of antiparticles, and some even suggested that the negative energy solutions were a sign of the fundamental flaw in the theory. However, as experiments in particle physics began to confirm the existence of antiparticles, Dirac's theory gained acceptance and became a cornerstone of modern physics. In addition to its fundamental importance in particle physics, the Dirac equation has also had practical applications in fields such as condensed matter physics and material science. For example, it has been used to study the behavior of electrons in materials such as graphene and topological insulators, which have unique electronic properties due to their exotic band structures. In summary, the Dirac equation is a fundamental equation in quantum mechanics that describes the behavior of fermions, taking into account the principles of special relativity and the quantum mechanical properties of these particles. Its development was a major milestone in the history of physics, and it has had important practical applications in fields such as condensed matter physics and material science.